Okie dokie, here we go. Uh, gonna pop the head on. Uh, again, uh, like the barrels, uh, we've got a square corner and a rounded corner. <laughs> Can you see that? And so the, the square corner goes at the front. There's also a bit of a giveaway that we've got the exhaust manifolds. So that's the front. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop this on. I am worried, I am worried that those dowel, I don't like those new oil dowels, and I'm worried that it's not going to go on. But we'll see. Right, so I just need to, we've got the, I'll put the gasket on, obviously. That's already sitting on the head, on the top of the barrels. There we go. And so there they go down. Right, so the head's gone down over the pillar bolts. But the question is, is it going is it going to go over those oil dowels because I'm a bit worried it's not going to do that I don't like I might have to replace those oil dowels again it's going it's going over that end I just don't think it's going over the other end I don't think it's going down this side now be very very careful where you hit when you're putting a head on. Never, ever, ever, ever hit a fin. Ah, well. Maybe, maybe that's going down. Uh, not sure. <sighs> now, you can hit the uh, sort of centre fins. Not, I can't really, because the frame's in the way. Because they're sort of vertical fins, I can hit the ends, but a flat horizontal fin, you're never, ever, ever, ever going to hit that. And obviously what I'm mainly doing is hitting where the studs go in, the uh, head studs. Uh, I'm not sure we're getting anywhere really. One side's going up, the other side's coming. As soon as you're not one side down, the other side comes up. I might just try drawing them down. I'll try drawing the head down with the uh, with the head bolts because then the four outer uh, head bolts go in separately. All the other head bolts go in through the rocker boxes, but the outer four on a T160 they go in separately, and on a T150 there these are studs anyway. But I'll, what it's just all that's happening is it's going up one side, down the other. And I'm not getting anywhere. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try drawing it down with the uh, with the head studs and see if that works. Yeah, we seem to be getting somewhere. So I've put the head studs in, and then I'm tapping it down, and then and as they loosen. And I'm just tightening them up a bit by hand. And then I'll go and do the other side. And they do still seem to be going on the head. Just but I, those new uh, dowels, are, I think they're the problem. That's right. So I'm tightening this side up now. This side seems to want to go on better than the other side. I think the dowels on the other side are a bit more out of line. Bit more of a problem, but let's see if we'll go down any more. Yeah, good. It is going on, albeit, albeit not really wanting to. Yeah, we get nearly down there. So I'm just going to now. I'm gonna. Start drawing it down a bit now with the actual, uh, by actually tightening them up a bit more, these uh, head studs. Because I know that that the um, the oil, that the um, dowels are now like inside, the, you know, they're not sitting on the outside of the head, which is what I was worried about. They are, I think they are inside the head channels. Yeah. So I'm just going to 
I'm not talking the head down, I'm actually just drawing the head on to the barrels. Let's hope we don't have to take this head off again because, <laughs> because I think those dowels are pretty tight in the, uh, you know, in the oil ways. But, um, I mean, the good news on that is it's probably not going to leak oil. The bad news is if we, have, if we do have to take the head off again, then, uh, you know, there could be a, it could resist. I'm just going to tap down the centre because, of course, at the moment, we're just drawing down either side don't want to cause a problem but we're not talking the head down at the moment we're literally just putting it onto those dowels so I think all is well there but it is uh, it doesn't want to go onto those dowels you can feel that I mean I'm having to draw it down all the way no, we're still not we're still not anything like down it. well we're about sort of 10 thou off actually it being down fully and I think we're pretty down fully on the uh, on the drive side but this side is uh, definitely not it doesn't like it down now I'm just going to tighten these up to make sure it's fully down then I'll slacken them off again right I think they're fully down now I'm just going to slacken it off actually a bit now because we need to wait until we get the rockers on and then tighten the whole thing up properly. But I've just been tightening these up now just to draw that head down so it's actually touching the, you know, seated on the barrels. Yeah. So I'm just going to loosen them all off now. There you go. So the head is now seated on the barrels. Let's get it out of the way because it's annoying me. Yeah. Right, so the head is seated on the barrels. Uh, and uh, so we've just got to get the rocker boxes on and then we can torque the whole thing down. But obviously we need to get the rocker boxes and the uh, push rod tubes on at the same time. And I think, hope, and you can see from that why I've put the well seal on these uh uh, the bottom of the push rod tubes because obviously this bit of the head is now like in the way and it's very hard to get well seal on the back it's just easier to do it that way you can probably put a paintbrush down the top but it's just a bit easier if you do it first okay so the head's on those new dowels were i think there was you know they didn't seem to go in straight into the head and i think that you know and so they weren't they didn't want to go into the the apertures in the in the head but um yeah, it's uh, it's it's on now and it's fully seated, so uh, so we're okay. Jolly good.